Hi ladies, can you believe this is it? This is your last week to submit in those cooking videos. These eight weeks have flown by, but I have to say, it's been such a treat to be your host for The Real Women of Philadelphia. I've so enjoyed getting to know you, seeing those recipes, but I want to see some more. And send in lots. This is your last chance. So let's end things on a high note with my favorite course, dessert. And my chocolate strawberry trifle is certainly a perfect grand finale. So this trifle is just layers of pound cake, a creamy chocolate custard, and of course, fresh, ripe strawberries. So to make the custard, I start with three cups of milk, and I save a cup for my mixing bowl that I'll mix my eggs and sugar into. And I want to bring the milk up to just below a simmer. So first I'll separate out four eggs. I want to use the yolks in the custard, and I do like to separate my eggs through my fingers. That way I can feel the yolk and the white separating. So I've got four egg yolks, and then to thicken the custard, I've got four tablespoons of cornstarch and a half a cup of sugar. I'll whisk this just a little, but then I add the remaining one cup of cold milk just to make this mixture easier to blend. Makes for a nice, smooth, silky custard. Now I gradually pour in the hot milk into my cool mixture. And add everything back to the pot all at once. It's important when you're cooking your custard to whisk it the entire time to keep the eggs and the cornstarch from sticking to the bottom. You can see it's starting to thicken just a little bit. I'm just about a minute away. There we go, we're almost there. You look for that shiny, glossy finish in your custard and you know it's done. I always strain my custards directly over the chocolate. So it's the hot custard that's going to melt the chocolate. Now I can drop in the vanilla. It's one teaspoon of vanilla, but if you're like me, you can always add a little bit extra. There we go, so now the chocolate is completely melted. And is there a better fragrance than a melted chocolate? It's important when you cover it that you put the plastic wrap directly on the surface of the custard to avoid the dreaded pudding skin. So before I add it to the cream cheese, I have to chill it down. It doesn't have to be completely cold, but it takes about two hours in the fridge. All right, the custard has had two hours to set. It's nicely thickened up. Remember that five ounces of bittersweet chocolate also sets the custard. And now to add it to the cream cheese. And this is really my special addition. By adding two packages, really giving a creaminess and almost a cheesecake-like flair to the trifle. The cream cheese is at room temperature. I want to give it a nice beating to smooth it out. All right, now I can add the chocolate custard. First a little bit, and then I can work up and add more and more. That way it stays creamy and smooth the entire time. And now that I have this base nice and smooth, I can add the last of the custard. And there we go. This is the real heart of this trifle. So I have my pound cake cut into fingers. And typically when you assemble a trifle, you make a syrup of some sort. So I've got one cup of water with one cup of sugar that I simply brought to a simmer to melt the sugar. And now it's just cooling down a little bit. But to add a little flavor, I'll add two teaspoons, that's two teaspoons of vanilla. So we've got the syrup, the pound cake, and I've got six cups of beautiful, fresh strawberries. First, I'll layer pound cake at the bottom. And you wanna pick a nice trifle bowl where you can see all the layers as you assemble. You fully cover the bottom of the bowl. There we go. Don't wanna forget the syrup to keep the pound cake nice and moist. Now I can put on a third of the custard. 
And while it's fluid right now, because of course the cream cheese was at room temperature, once it goes back into the refrigerator, it will set up beautifully well. And now a third of the strawberries, so two cups of strawberries sprinkled right on top of that chocolate custard. And this is just simply cream whipped with just a tablespoon of sugar. And this is one of those desserts that deserves a lovely garnish. So what I like to do is take a little of that bittersweet chocolate and grate it right on top. To put garnishes like the chocolate and a sliced strawberry tells your guests exactly what is in the dessert. I love making a dessert like this because I impress myself through the process, but then really, I love impressing family and friends when I get to serve a creation such as this. So I want you to impress yourself with what you make and what you're able to serve. Grab the camera, get in the kitchen. You've got one week left to get dessert recipes to me. And make sure you submit them at realwomenofphiladelphia.ca.